passive income. It's becoming a common word, especially in the world of investment and financial planning and family planning and career planning and you know planning the you know planning your life in general. I think what's m m mainly important is income. So what really matters is to have the appropriate income that you want for your life. But let's say you inherited, I don't know, whatever, $20 million, $50 million, I hope, right? And you took that money and you spread that money on you know, different lines of investment, businesses, and they're just giving you returns that you want and you're happy with that and you spend your life you know doing whatever you love doing so there's all these possible scenario so what really matters is to have the appropriate income in a consistent way because the idea of creating passive income that's what I think came from the philosophy or the approach to life that don't put all your investment eggs in the same basket don't have one source of income because life is unpredictable things happen surprises happen way beyond your control one day you're in a secure job second day you don't have a job i remember i remember a friend of mine in london he resigned from a very well-paying job I mean, multi-million dollar per year job, investment banker, to move to another company, another bank that was offering him significantly more money. The first day of joining this new job, that company, that bank downsized and they let go. I think several hundreds if not several thousands of their employees so his first day he was fired it's a true story so so why am I saying this I'm saying this because life is uncontrollable so when it comes to income that is fine that that is you know super essential for your survival as a person and as an entity whether your family or larger than a family or whoever however you define yourself you could be multiple families you could be taking care of many families you focus all your attention on energy on your active income that that is involving that's demanding your practical energy your day-to-day -day work and then on the side you have investments or other interests you've made other steps where that are generating you for you income that's passive that's not requiring you know your day-to-day -day attention and work and energy in a sort of professional uh, professional way so you decide what you want and starting from there after you decide what you want from life dreams wants necessities you know the kind of life you want to live a minimalist life you want to live you know a first class jet set life you want to live whatever it is a zen life you want to live you know a luxury life it's really up to you and there's no judgment you decide and then you decide how you're going to finance that life in any case you should as much as you can within your ability do your best not to have one stream of income to finance that dream or that that plan for your life